For an update on sports stories around the globe, Aaron Akirijola joins us now. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, good morning to you, Leila. It's good to have you here on the morning show. Once again, good morning to you, Doctor. Ha, she's not new. She's a veteran of this show. Oh, yes. <laughs> you don't need to say that to One of the original. Yes, you don't need to tell me that. Certainly, certainly, certainly. It's good. That's why I say it's good to have you here once again. Okay. Good morning to you, Rafai. And let's start it on a light note as... Both boxers are actually taking a massive reprieve from boxing and all that happened between them in Jeddah. Anthony Joshua has been pictured for the first time. All right, um, returning back to his former um, gym to actually just on one. Well, Yusik has returned back to Ukraine. He's been celebrating. He's been given a hero's welcome. Rightfully so, must actually put, after his heroics against Anthony Joshua in Jeddah. But of course, you know, his sight is set on one man, and one man alone right now. He says, if it is not Tyson Fury, it's no one else. But let's talk about a legend of the game, a legend of sports. She's transcendent borders, done so many firsts, and certainly she'll go down as they are calling her the greatest of all time. Of course, she won her first round match, but she'll be going against Contivet in the second round, it doesn't get easy for Serena Williams in what they're calling the last dance. All right, against Kovinich, it was 6363. And she wore the glistering star like dress that petrified. She has a million stars. You can see her over the years in Flushy Meadows as she has actually grown won games in her 20s, 30s, and 40s. And you can actually see that they actually put it out there in the arena, greatest of all time. She was heavily celebrated, understanding that she actually, she actually packed over 70,000 people at the arena yesterday. They all came out in their numbers to celebrate an icon of the sport, a woman that has literally brought so much smile to the faces of stars, of fans. And for those neutrals out there, they know who Serena Williams is and what she has actually done in tennis. It's been quite phenomenal for... She has actually had a phenomenal time. Former president was actually there to actually celebrate with her. Even I am Mike Tyson was also there to celebrate with her. And that Anthony Anderson, the comedian, was also there. And of course, talking about Anna Winter. Even the fashion, even the fashion was celebrate what she has actually done. Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, was also there to celebrate with Serena Williams. So it was quite a packed crowd. And rolling back to her first U.S. Open, um, how time flies, actually. Uh, these are iconic hairstyle. As a matter of fact, her young daughter yesterday actually done that particular hairstyle yesterday. Uh, just a little bit of March to the mother and Serena Williams. Over the years, she's actually... She's actually grown before our eyes. More importantly, we've seen her dominate the world from start to finish, and her legend will live on. I must say that we saw her give birth to her first child, return back to tennis, and she's she's done the unthinkable because she's still she's 40 and she's still playing tennis. And they say with love from all of us. That's how the USTA are celebrating Serena Williams. And uh, before I come to you quickly, let's actually just talk about some of the uh, matches that were actually played. Rufa, I can see you in tears already. Oh, yeah. uh, literally, I had goosebumps, <laughs> yeah. literally. Um, the, the, we've seen major upsets. We didn't expect this many upsets. First of all, Stefano Titipas, I would have thought that he would be falling to a man that qualified for Galan, would have qualified for the US Open. Titipas, a dominant force. Of course, Lila Fernandez, one young one there out there, doing so well. Look, she actually won 6 3, 6 4. Congratulations to her. But she, Titipas was not the only one that actually fell by the wayside. Of course, Kriegos actually had his own game up and running, 6-3, 6-4, Another one, Simona Halep. Who would have thought that Simona Halep, after having a major season, all right, in the ATP 1000, she would be falling by the wayside. But that's what we witnessed in round one. And she is not the only one. And you look at how things have actually played out. Canelo Bosta, once again, rising over Dominic Thiem. 
Dominic Thiem has won the U.S. Open. I think he won in 2020. And you'd be expecting that someone of that nature should be rising through the ranks. But it's unfortunate that that didn't play out for him. And in a bit to actually press it further because we have quite a lot of issues to actually talk about. Let's talk about, okay, um, Ida Peter's side. Um, this man, he's actually running for the Nigeria Football Federation's presidency. We spoke about this a while ago. And he has actually come out to say that if they ban him from running that he will take them to court. We know that Amadou Pinik has actually read the riot act to those that are contesting for that particular post. But right now, with um, nominations and also screening taking place in Abuja, he's feeling that he might be sidelined. Uh, we'll still want to hear from him on what he will do. Some see him as an outsider, but he believes, he's spoken to me and said that he has a true chance to win and change football for good. And let's talk about October 1st. In Germany, they're celebrating October 1st. But what caught a lot of people's eyes were the young Muslims among them that decided that they were going to keep to their faith and not hold up a beer. We know beer and Germany are, are synonymous. They go together. But Sadio Mane and his teammates, they've decided that, no, 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 we'll keep our faith as pure as it is. We will not mingle with the crowd. While others were holding up a glass of pint or a pint of beer, they decided that they were just going to stand aloof. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, quickly, not a good news coming in with the fact that Pierre Merrick Obumayang actually spoke about the fact that he was attacked in his home with when his family were actually there. One of them held an iron bar to his head, another head, a gun to his head, but they are all okay. It's unfortunate that these things are becoming a recurring phenomenon. It's happening way too often. Way too often, because this, these guys are overpaid. That's not the issue, but that they are paid a humongous amount of money, they need to get protection. They are not your everyday people anymore. They need to know that. Just one month ago, the yeah. Ajax captain, it happened yes. to him not too far from his house. And it's now, happened to quite a lot of yes, people, quite a lot of them. Way too common. Now. And finally, Scott Parker has been asked as the manager of AFC Bournemouth. Uh, we hear that after the bashing that he got 9-0 against Liverpool, we hear that he and the hierarchy in the club have not been seen eye to eye in terms of transfer. With two days to go, he feels they have not backed him in the transfer window to stay in the Premier League. And the Cherries owner have decided to part ways with this man. I feel sorry for Scott okay. Parker, I have to say. Okay, let's start it out with Serena Williams. I mean, I, mean I, I feel very excited for Serena Williams, mm. you know, and whatever is the outcome in this has sojourn in, in the American Open, it'll never change the fact that she's indeed the greatest of all time. Yeah. She came to our world and she just changed it forever. And that can do spirit, that a black person can do it. You know, she dominates at the spot with her sister Venus, for a while, will ever live in our memory. This is what the dreams are made of, and I'm yes. really excited. A kudos to her father. Kudos to her father. They can say King Richard. King Richard. K kudos. No, someone to put up a sign. King Richard. Congratulations to King Richard, who gave birth to Queen Serena. Yeah. So he yeah. says it all. The greatest of all time. The greatest of all time. <laughs> I, mean, I have no words. I just have goosebumps. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. we are going to miss seeing her play. And thank you for years of amazing, uh, amazing athleticism. It's just... I'm happy they, they, they didn't wait till well, when she lost had, to do that. She's had a glittering career. No doubt. Beautiful. Grand, grand Slam. Yes. Uh, titles, titles, just yeah. one shot of the record of the Australian, uh, Margaret Court. Court, Yeah, But you never know. A miracle can still happen. <laughs> uh, what is possible if not the uh, defining magical moments that we see again and again, yeah. whether in golf or elsewhere. As for Scott Parker, well, no tears for him. <laughs> I mean, uh, nine zero. The team became basketball. <laughs> 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 doctor, doctor, <laughs> you know, I took a nap. I think it was like thirty minutes, and I took a nap. I woke up and I just saw. Five nil, and I was like, "What is going on?" No, I do feel sorry for that. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Oyo, Oyo, Oyo. Okay, who will have been uh, one hundred years uh, on August twenty-seven. Yeah, and there was an event that was held True. Uh, in uh, Cross River State in his honor mm. by his uh, family. Yeah, the launch also of the Orokoyo Foundation and of a book, a collection of his articles, and yeah. his son made a statement that look, Nigerian leaders don't have the political will to do the right thing, and that nobody has recognized his father. True. The same man that won uh, FIFA gold 
for his contributions to football. The same man that was the first African to be a member of the C uh, Confederation of African Football, football yeah. Board, uh, the first uh, African to be on the FIFA, uh, FIFA Council, and all of that, the man that was known as Mr. Football, mm. you know, and who lived a life of devotion and service, uh, he seems to have been forgotten. So in Nigeria, we forget the living, we forget the dead. Uh, do we even have a sports hall of fame that is well organized so that if younger people hear about Oyo or Okoyo, they will immediately know uh, what he represented and his contributions to the development of football, not just in Nigeria, but globally. And I think that that's something that the NFF, you know, uh, you know, and the football authorities generally should look into. Yes, Pastor Doctor, how many even leaders in Nigeria remember him? How many? Do, we, you see, when we have a country where there's no institutional memory, you can't, you can't have sanity. Anyway, thank you very oh, much, uh, Aaron Akarijan. Yeah.